Horror cinema, arguably more than most, is a genre known for creating moments. Famous sequences that live long in the memory, haunting cinema goers long after the lights have gone up. In this documentary, me and my crew are travelling to a typical horror movie location to film two of my very own horror movie moments. Using two cameras, I will record the behind the scenes making of these sequences in a bid to help me deconstruct what exactly arouses the fear, anguish and dread associated with my favourite genre. <laughs> This sequence is an example of the age-old horror film technique, the jump scare. This traditionally follows a slow, gradual build-up of suspense that is then capitalised on by a jump, defined usually by an increased level of volume and a startling image. Jonathan Frome states that experiments have shown that a faster or slower musical tempo does in fact raise or lower our heart rate, as well as our breathing rate and our blood pressure. By including a similar heartbeat sound effect, tension is raised along with the breathing rate and blood pressure, creating a final shock that evokes the physical effect a jump. Showing the petrified face of Lou, our victim here, also encourages a reaction on behalf of the audience, an emotional response Frome calls emotional cognition. This describes our unconscious tendency to mimic other people's emotions and facial expressions. In this shot, her face is shown at the pivotal moment of the jump scare, and a similar audience reaction is subconsciously encouraged. Yeah, I can get that. Okay, right. Ready? Action! No, stop, 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 stop. Yes, I can. So it's not just me. You can hear it. Right, 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 right. No, it's gone now. It must be there. It's definitely caught on camera. It might have just been the, uh... Right, well, let's just do No, this is what I clearly that heard. That sounded weird. Help me. No. I definitely heard that. No, you didn't. I That's your mind. I definitely did. You mean shook up by the story? That's your mind. I, I, I could hear, so, I could hear, like... That's your mind, Patrick. Hear it right. again. The shoot had been disrupted by an unexplainable recording that had led most of the crew to jump to supernatural conclusions. What you're about to see is footage filmed earlier in the evening, not long after we arrived at Bob's. This footage was originally recorded as excess material, information that I could use in my documentation but never intended to feature in the final piece. Bob is not an actor, and due to the unsettling events that followed later in the evening, this interview with Bob now seems extremely relevant. Just about why you think this house is perfect for a sort of haunted house movie, horror movie. Well... Originally it dates from 1717, so it's got history behind it. Um, and I know personally that it's had a, a lot of history in terms of hauntings. Well, I'll tell you the first, actually, my, my dad, when he was alive, um, he, he first came here to live um, from London. And he was lying there, wide awake, and all of a sudden outside 
by the side of the bed because it's pitch black, there's no street lights. Um, a voice. Um, he heard a voice, but it was something like, Help me, please help me. How he describes it. He said that he felt the colour drain from him. And all he could do was dive down under the sheets. He said he just had enough strength to pull the sheet over his head. And then over the years, various things happened. And not <laughs> very difficult to say, is it a haunted house? Well, yes, things happen. But they happen normally when we're changing things, when my dad's been making alterations or you're you know, knocking down a wall here and doing something. It, it almost seems like that disturbs uh, the spirit that lives here. And that's when we get the occurrences. That's why I think this place is probably as good a place as any. Uh, to to film a, a scary movie. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that's all I have. All I've ever made. That's super. That sounded right, look alright. Mm. Yeah. 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 Lovely. Cheers, Bob. Is that okay? Not too OTT. No, no, it's super. It's all true, actually. Yeah, right. That's, <laughs> that's what makes it. Thing. That's that's the problem. Let me take it out. No, 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 Where's that coming from? Do you want to wipe those? No, just come. Anyone else want to come? No, I'm good. Do you need sound or not? You've got sound. You've got sound, right. I'm so brave. Wait, 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 wait. I definitely good. heard that. Did, the Did you hear that? Yeah. That mic. Right. It like rolling. Oh, oh, I don't like it. It might be the cat. Running out of tape, Billy. Alright, we'll just quickly come. It's coming up with tapes on. What's this mean? Billy, I'm not going to be able to catch this, it's going to run out. Is it? It's about a minute, have we got a minute? Come on, Billy. I don't like it, why are you leaving by myself? Don't leave me by myself! Having abandoned my initial concept and instead stumbled into something more akin to the scares of horror films than I ever could have achieved in two sequences, I'm still left with a problem. Having gone off topic, this film has no ending. We hadn't been butchered live on camera, dragged off into the distance or possessed by a ghost of some unsettled spirit, and the gramophone is an old piece of kit that could quite easily malfunction. 
After speaking with my supervisor, I've chosen to end the film by returning to the voices that Joe supposedly heard. I should once again stress, apart from my sequence, nothing you have seen or heard has been staged. Here is the sound again. Action! Did you hear anything, huh? Did you hear anything, huh? 